This is the God. This is the God you need. This is the God we want. Which God? God who made way for the redeemed to cross over in Exodus chapter number 14. He made way for the saint to cross over the Red Sea when there was no way to cross over. In front of them was the sea. Sideways were mountains. There was no way. The army of Pharaoh was advancing closely to return them to slavery. But God made way for them to cross over. And harm. Midway on the sea. This is the God you need, we need. Which God? God who deliver three Jews from the fire. Daniel chapter 3. Which God do we need? God who deliver Daniel from the lion's dance. Daniel chapter 6. The book of Daniel chapter 6. Which God do we need? Which God do you want? God who fed Elijah during the drought. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 4 to 6. He fed Elijah using ravens or birds or ravens. Where Elijah was given by birds or ravens bread and meat twice a day. And he could drink also from the brook. Which God we need? God who fulfilled and inspired Apostle Paul in jail or in prison. Paul who... God who made Paul while in jail. God you need. God who inspired and he spoke to Paul and fulfilled him in prison and made Paul, Apostle Paul, to write almost the whole book of New Testament Bible. This is the God you need. This is the God we need. Which God do we need? God who opened the womb of Hannah and gave him baby Samuel after Hannah had lived for long as a barren woman. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. Which God do we need? Which God do you need? The God who gave Sarah his son Isaac at the age of 90. The book of Genesis 21 verse 1 to 7. Which God do you need? Which God do we need? This is the God we need who gave Hagar and Ismael water in the desert. The baby Ismael cried and God was merciful to the baby and created fountain of water in the desert. God defend the weak. He say, I think in Psalm 83 verse 3 or verse 2. And he say also in James chapter 1 verse 27. He go to the weak people like orphans, windows, fatherless. The baby Ismail cried for water in the desert. When Hagar and Ismail were chased out of Abraham's house. And... Um, God created water for them in the desert when the baby Ismael cried. That is the book of Genesis 21 verse 17 to 19. Which God do we need? Which God do you need? God who delivered Peter in prison. The church prayed honestly for Peter. To this God we are talking about. The Bible says in Acts chapter 12 that the church prayed honestly for Peter when he was in prison. They pray to this God we are talking about and deliver Peter from prison. The book of Acts chapter number 12 verse 5 to 17. Which God do you need? Which God do I need? Which God do we want? The God who delivers St. Paul and Cyrus from jail. The book of Acts 16 verse 25 to 26. Paul were put in prison just for doing good. They prayed for a, a somebody or a woman who was possessed by demons which were divining future and that lady was healed from the demon they were put in prison they prayed and sang song to god acts 16 verse 25 to 26 and jail foundation was shaken prison door were open chains fell this is the god we want who delivers saint paul and cyrus from prison acts 16 25 to 26 God we need, God we want. The God who manifested himself on Elijah at Mount Carmel contest in 1 King chapter 18 verse 16 to 39. 1 King chapter 18 verse 16 to 29. People decided to worship Baal. Elijah was not happy. He stood for Jesus. He stood for this God and said, no way, we cannot worship this uh, Baal God that are not real God. 
even the saints of God, prophet of God, joined King Jezebel and his wife, uh, King Ahab and his wife Jezebel to worship Baal. But Elijah was not happy. He decided to hold the bull by the horn. He decided to hold the donkey by the leg. He decided to hold the snake by the mouth through the power of God and say, let's face this. Let's go to the Mount Carmel and test with the true God. He decided to take it with courage. Let's prove with the true God. And he knew this God would not shape him. They tested with the true God to bring fire to burn the sacrifice. But Bargo never brought fire, but God of Elijah brought fire. And they said, I think in 1 King 18.39, that let God be God, let Lord be Lord. They said, let God of Elijah be worshipped by all. This is the God we want. Which God do we want? God who stood with Joseph in the slave land. Joseph, if you read the book of Genesis 37, he was sold by his brother. Why? Just because God called him to ministration. They sold him to slavery because of jealousy. And also they, they were full of pride. We are senior in Jacob family. You are the second last born. What are you telling us? That you, you show us in a dream bowing before you. But this was dream from God who was speaking after he anointed Joseph. They decided to sell Joseph to slavery. But God stood with Joseph in the slave land. If you read the book of Genesis chapter 37 to chapter 46, how Joseph went through and stood with God and became the second in command in Egypt and also brought these brothers to Egypt when he was a leader there, his father, and they worshipped the God of Joseph, the true God. This is the God we want, who did not let Joseph be made slave, but second in command in Egypt. Which God do we want? God who resurrected Lazarus in the book of John chapter 11. John chapter 11. God who resurrected Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus who had died for four days. Sorry, this Lazarus who had died and stayed in the grave for four days. He was rotten and smearing, but he brought Zazaro to life. He was dead, buried for days, rotten and smearing. He resurrected Lazaro. He brought Lazaro to life. This is the God we want. Jesus, who can resurrect any dead circumstance in your life. Jesus, oh God, who can resurrect any dead situation in your life. Is this dead marriage? Is this dead peace? Is this dead sense of belonging? Is this dead lack of thirst for holiness? When you read the book of Ezekiel 37, the children of God were made like dead people, like dead bone, dry bone. They were hope for God was stolen. Their thirst for righteousness was, was stolen. Their power to worship God and strength was stolen by the enemy. They were made dead like dry bone in the dry valley. That God breathed life into them. When you read the book of Ezekiel 37, God breathed life unto them and they became came life again. The Bible say in Isaiah 44 verse 24 to 28 that Jerusalem will be restored. Children of God will be brought back to the former place of ruin. Peace that was eaten by rockers. Joel chapter 2 verse 1 verse 21 to 32. The peace that was stolen. What the rockers ate. The peace, the joy, the thirst for God, the strength for God, the strength to worship God, the strength to pray and fast will be returned. What the rockers ate will be brought back to them. Jesus can resurrect any dead circumstance in your life. Is this dead hope for God, dead thirst for righteousness, dead marriage, dead career, dead need to keep going, dead mood, dead motivation, mo mo dead morale dead sense of belonging, dead empowerment. He can select any dead circumstance. What is dead in your life? Is it peace? You don't feel you have peace. It is joy that went away. The kingdom of God is joy, peace. The kingdom of God is joy, peace, and righteousness, and joy in the Holy Ghost. 
of peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Ghost. He will bring it, that peace that was soaring. He will resurrect any dead circumstances. He resurrected Lazaro, who was dead, buried in the grave for days and rotten. Even if your situation is smearing, it's rotten, smearing, he can resurrect it back to life. Which God do we need? The God we need, God who made John the Revelator to write the book of Revelation while in Ireland of Patmos. If you read the book of Revelation, John the Revelator, John who wrote the book of Revelation, because of jealousy of the enemy, enemy always stop people who have the right direction giver. If you read the Revelation 12, a woman was clothed with the sun, star, moon. That means the woman was full of light, star, 12 star in her head, clothed in the, the sun in her body, moon in her feet. But the enemy stood behind the in front of the woman to rob him, a merry child. The woman is born to deliver, to kill the merry child. The moment he was born, a miracle can represent call to ministry, can represent power to worship God, anointing. It can represent the call to ministration. It can represent the promises of God coming back to you. It can represent the 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 uh, revival in you. The enemy want to rob you revival. Want to rob you your blessing. The baby Mary child is a blessing. The woman was full of was rights. So John the Revelator was full of rights. He wanted to reveal to people what will happen shortly in the future before Jesus come back. He was full of rights. The enemy stood in the woman in Revelation 12. He stood in front of this woman, in front of this woman in Revelation 12 to rob him the Mary child, the moment the Mary child is born, to kill the Mary child. The enemy want to kill that thing that God is speaking to you to tell the people. John the Reverend had a message to tell the people. He was being spoken by God, but he was drawn to Idol of Patmos to die there. Some people say in theology, but it's not written in the Bible, but he was put in hot oil, but he didn't die. He had to finish to write the book of Revelation. This is the God we want. The God who made John the Revelator write the book of Revelation while in Ireland of Patmos. Which God do you need? Which God do we want? The God who resurrected Jesus on the third day after his death. God who made Jesus bypass security, bypass big stone that was placed on his grave or tomb, bypass prediction of men. They said, we must put security in Jesus' tomb. So Jews do not steal the body and come with the hoax that Jesus resurrected. He bypassed their prediction. The Bible see in the book of Isaiah 44, verse 25, God would turn fools, their diviners. God would turn their divination to fullness and their wisdom to, non to nonsense. He would turn their wisdom to nonsense and their divination to fullness or fool you make fool of their divine fool of diviners they they said the the jews may steal the body and say jesus resurrected jesus bypass through the power of this god we are saying the god you need the god we want to bypass security was praised that jesus on jesus tomb the security was there stone was there but they didn't find Jesus, Matthew 28. They didn't find Jesus. He had already resurrected, as predicted in the Bible, in many Bible books, even Old Testament books like the book of Isaiah, that the kingdom is on his shoulder, Isaiah chapter 9, and nothing can change it. He's the king of all kings. They said he's not, but he was. He resurrected. The God we need who made Jesus resurrect. Let the power of Jesus' resurrection reign on you that you will always resurrect, live, be revived. As I say in Isaiah 40, that one. You always be revived, resurrect, and be rejuvenation and rekindled to keep going in your court administration and quest for God and to live a holy life and to expedite this Jesus. In conclusion, if you have not believed in this Jesus, 
believe in this God who made wonders. He went beyond human listening and did wonders. As we have described here, be blessed as you purpose to worship this Jesus.